trash cans it's Ashley welcome to the vlog if this is the first video that you're seeing from me my name is Ashley I'm a junior here at the University of Wisconsin Madison and I'll be taking you through a week in my life this week this week shouldn't be too out of the ordinary with schoolwork but we have a game on Saturday so I'm super excited to vlog that and show you guys what a game day is like it's about 9 a.m. right now and I just got back from work I had a 5 a.m. shift this morning so I'm feeling a little bit tired but I'm ready for my day to get started I only have one class today and it is at 2 30 we're in that stage where the weather hasn't decided what season it wants to pick yet. I cannot believe that it was snowing this morning and last week it was 70 degrees. As of right now, we have good weather set for game day, so just hoping that it stays that way. But I am gonna head out and get some work done this morning. I just finished class for the day and now I'm back in my apartment. I didn't expect to spend the whole day at the union doing homework, but I'm really happy that I did. I feel really good going into this week having a lot of my weekly assignments already done and I didn't get a chance to talk about it this morning since I went to work right after I woke up, but I did this new method of heatless curls last night and I'm really happy with how they held up. I ordered it on Amazon. It's basically like a long rope that you put on your head this way and then you wrap your hair around it and secure it with hair ties at the bottom. I'm really liking how it turned out especially towards the front of my face. For the bottom half of my hair, I twisted it the other way and I don't think that it worked that well. So next time I'm gonna twist it all the same direction. Now that I'm back at my apartment, I have a couple hours before I have to head out again. I'm gonna take this time right now to edit a video. I haven't even touched my YouTube at all since I've come back to school, which is really embarrassing. So I'm trying to get back into it. I'm gonna start working on a video right now. Last year I got in such a good routine with going to the gym, coming back to my apartment, doing YouTube work for an hour and then going to class. But now that I have early morning classes, I just don't have that luxury anymore. Before I get started on that, I'm gonna change into some comfier clothes. I really don't like dressing up for class, but I've been trying to push myself out of my comfort zone with that, just because it makes me feel a lot more confident when I'm in a cute new outfit. And I've realized that I don't have outfits that are just like cute for every day. I basically have a bunch of athleisure, or I have stuff that you would wear to like a nice dinner or like a fancy restaurant. I don't have any of the in-between. So by forcing myself to wear those in-between kind of outfits to class every once in a while, it forces me to buy them too, so that I have them and I need clothes like that for when I start my practicum and I'm in the elementary school next semester so I need to slowly build like my teacher wardrobe but that being said now that I'm home it is time for me to put a sweatshirt on I'm gonna lay in bed and try to get some YouTube work done I just finished eating dinner and it's now around 7 I was able to get two days of my vlog fully edited which was really good now I'm heading to self-defense class they offer free self-defense classes at the Nick which is the gym at my school I've been going for a couple weeks now and we have two more classes left we do a mix of like physical techniques and verbal techniques and then we also go over just kind of how to apply what we're learning into like our everyday life situations. Hopefully none of us ever have to use any of these physical techniques but it's good to practice them and to do so in an environment that's safe and comfortable and welcoming and where we have like an expert there to help us out. I've always personally thought that if something were to happen I would be able to defend myself but actually setting aside time to practice and work with other people and go through scenarios and everything is completely different than just like running through stuff in your head and I've learned so much more like there was so much more to self-defense than I ever thought I'm back at my apartment now from self-defense class. I'm getting kind of sad that we're nearing our last class. I feel like we've all come so far as like a group and obviously as individuals. I'm thankful that I signed up for it and that I just pushed myself out of my comfort zone to do it. I definitely recommend taking it if you're interested. All the information is on like the University Recwell website. So definitely check that out if you are interested. Again, it's free. It is now a little bit past nine. I have an exec meeting for a club that I'm in at 9.15. The club is called Feel Good Foodies. You should definitely join if you're a foodie. As I'm listening in on that I'm gonna get ready for bed just gonna take off my makeup put my pajamas on and then as soon as this meeting is over I'm gonna go to bed I've had such a long day I woke up at 5 this morning I'm trying to have less caffeine so I didn't have any caffeine today and I'm feeling it so I'm gonna end the vlog here for today and I will talk to you all in the morning I have a super busy day of classes tomorrow
It's Tuesday morning, welcome back to the vlog. I just got all ready for the day. I have a presentation today, so I decided to dress up a little bit. My sweater is from Urban Outfitters. It's actually from the outlet in Chicago. Then I'm wearing this little white bralette underneath. That's from Tilly's, and then my jeans are Urban Outfitters as well. Today, I have four classes back to back, starting at nine in the morning, and then I end at 3.45. So super busy, school heavy day. I literally feel by the last class of the day, I'm just so tired and my brain is so done that I can't really focus. And and everyone that I'm in that last class with I'm in all the other classes before with as well so we usually end early because my TA is just like none of you guys are even like retaining this information and we've kind of exhausted everyone's brains today so I packed my lunch to go I'm getting my bag all together right now I've decided that today's the day I am whipping out the winter Patagonia jacket I really was trying to see how long I could wait and I think I could go through the rest of this week without wearing it but I don't think that my other jacket really goes with my outfit as well so I'm breaking out the winter jacket unfortunately it's supposed to be like 70 degrees this weekend again which is insane i just like want wisconsin to pick a season already but i'm not going to turn down any warmer days that's for sure especially on a game day my class schedule today is basically lecture and then discussion for that class then i have a little break and then lecture again and then discussion again and then after class i'm teaching a cycling class at the nick this is the last week of my cycle strength rotation so this is the last week that i teach on tuesdays and then i'll start teaching on thursdays instead i'm gonna get all my stuff packed in my backpack and then head out for my first class. my yogurt in my lunch but I accidentally packed my chickpeas instead. Dude, I had like a nice little yogurt parfait. But these are good for for chickpeas. We're eating lunch at the law building. Lauren looks so pretty in the sunshine. Eating my child's lunch. <laughs> Mac and cheese and applesauce. <laughs> your vlog <laughs> yeah I got back home from class only to find my desk drawer completely broken and fallen out of my desk. So I just had a little bit of a stressful phone call with my father who tried to help me learn how to rebuild my desk over FaceTime. Surprisingly, it actually worked. He's honestly really good at helping me do things over FaceTime. Like freshman year, I really couldn't open a jar of salsa. And so I called him and he literally talked me through how to open it. And I like don't know how he did it because it's not like I got stronger, but somehow he is like able to really talk me through things really well. So I just rebuilt this ikea desk drawer um with no instructions or anything the screws got really loose so the whole front of this desk part fell off of this side so it was like hanging down so my desk was just like open and that happened yesterday i kind of got it to be fine like i didn't think it would be a big deal or anything but then i came home from class today and my whole desk was like off the tracks and completely on the ground so i had to screw this back in and then get this back on the track which was really hard i broke a nail and I just got my nails done this weekend, so that's really frustrating. But at least the desk works, and I also broke the back of it off. This is the back part of the drawer. But now that I'm done ranting about my desk, I'll give you a little overview of how class went today. All my classes were pretty good. My second to last class of the day, we talked to my professor, because my class that I have tomorrow, my teachers in that one, they're not professors, so I'm not calling them that. None of us are really vibing with them or how they organize the curriculum or like with the things that they're saying to students at all. Like it's just not something that I think the university would back if they like sat in on a classroom at all. We talked to one of my professors today after class because she like oversees the people who teach my class tomorrow. So she's actually gonna come in and sit in on class tomorrow to kind of like see what it's like. I'm really hoping that we can make some change in that class that hopefully when a supervisor comes and sees it, she can kind of like see what we've been talking about. We tried to talk to my teachers about it like two weeks ago and we were just met with really like snarky comments back and like they were just not very receptive to what we had to say, nor did I even feel like they really listened. That's why we went to the supervisor and we're gonna see what happens tomorrow. I hope it goes well and in my last class today I had a presentation and we got really good feedback from our TA so I'm really happy about that I think that went really well so I'm back home now and it's 4 30 and I came home to a package from my best friend Aww. 
I might, I might start crying. That's my issue. The reason I didn't want to vlog this is because I might start crying. So my best friend just sent me a sweet little box. It's got a bunch of my favorite cookies in it. These parquet cookies. I love them. And I didn't know they came in little bags, but that's going to be perfect to like bring with me to class. This toothbrush, which I know she's going to just have some sort of joke about. It says, listen close and you'll hear my girl power. This made me cry when I first opened it. It's a little mini music box and it plays... There's also a note in here, but I'm going to read it off camera because it is going to make me cry. So that was the first package that I got today. And then I got another one. This is from Skylar Clean Beauty. This is the box. It says Dream in Clean. And this is what they sent me. I am obsessed with their packaging. Like, that is gorgeous. I love it. It's the Vanilla Sky Perfume. I'm so excited to give this a try. I'm not going to try it now because I'm already wearing perfume and I'm going to give this like an all day wear test to like see how long it lasts. They're completely cruelty free and vegan. It's 4.30 so I have a little bit of time here before I have to head to cycling. So I have about an hour and a half before I have to head out. However, I have not prepared anything for cycling yet today. I haven't picked my songs. I haven't made the drills. I haven't done anything. So I'm going to sit down and get that done really quick. I just finished it cycling and it went super well. It feels really good to kind of see growth in myself with how far I've come since like the first class that I co-taught to where I am now. It's a really, really big difference and I can't wait to see how much more I grow in this like next stage of training. So I'm completely done with the first training rotation and then I start a new rotation in two weeks and it will be rhythm ride instead of cycle strength. So I'll get experience with a different class format, which is gonna be really fun. I really wanna teach rhythm ride. It's like my favorite class to take. I hope that I get like assigned to that next year. It's the most like competitive to teach and like the hardest one to teach. Now I'm going to take a shower and then I'll eat some dinner and just chill for the rest of the night. It's 9 p.m. which means it's time for me to go to bed. Yes, I do actually go to bed that early. I have a cycling class in the morning at 7.30 so I have to wake up at like 6.40. And I just really value my sleep so I like to go to bed early. I just got back from a rhythm ride cycling class and I got all ready for the day feeling super comfy today I only have one class so I like to keep it very casual I did my hair I've never done it like this before I did two dutch braids into a bun I would love to do like two little buns but I just don't think that that looks good on me so it's just one big bun for today today I only have one class but I still have a super busy day it's Wednesday which means it's slow food cafe day and I'll be in the kitchen basically all day today until I have class it's 9 o'clock right now. I have to leave here at 9.15 to get to the kitchen by 9.30, and then I'll get started on prep. If you want to know more about Slow Food, I'd check out their Instagram. It does such a better job of kind of like explaining what we are than I can. It's basically like a student-run meal where we do all the cooking and serving and cleaning and everything like that, and it's pay what you can. So it's a great place for those who are experiencing food insecurity or who maybe just want a cheaper meal. The food is always really good, and there's always a vegan option, so definitely you should check it out if you've never been before. Slow Slow food has literally been like a breath of fresh air for me these past couple of weeks. I really, really love it and I love putting my time into doing something good for my community and I love cooking so it's great for me to just go and cook on a really large scale for a couple hours. I just got back to my apartment from slow food for some reason we didn't make nearly enough food and we only had like 60 burgers today so we sold out within like the first 20 minutes still somehow the time slipped away from me and i end up staying there a little bit later than i wanted to so it's now one o'clock i have class at 1 30 and then i have to go to work as soon as i get off of class i only have about 15 minutes before i have to head out for class and i have to get completely ready for work
I'm home from work. Brenna gave me a ride home, which was super nice of her. We work together now, which is really fun. I'm always so excited when we get scheduled to work together because it's just so much fun to see her and to catch up. On our way home, we stopped at Chipotle, so this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. It's 7.30 right now, so it is kind of late for me to be eating dinner, but I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat dinner, and then I'll take a shower, and that'll probably be it for today. Thursday morning, 7.30, I woke up and got ready for the day. I'm feeling super tired this morning. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm not really sure why, but I kept waking up in the middle of the night. Like, I woke up five or six times, and it was really hard for me to fall asleep. This is also the earliest class that I have all week. It's an 8.15. I have a project in this class that's due either tonight or in a week. You get to, like, pick your due date based on, like, how much other stuff you have going on this week. At first, I picked today, and now I'm thinking that that's not not gonna happen unless I like spend the whole day today doing it. I have about 20 minutes before I have to leave for class and nothing that I really have to do before then so I think I'm gonna sit on my phone for a little bit. I've gotten in the habit of like not checking my phone right when I wake up and it feels kind of good. The way I've been doing it actually is just like waking up later for everything. Like I used to wake up early enough to put some time to like check my phone in my morning routine and now I've just been cutting that out. I got ready super early today though so now I have some time. So I'm gonna check my phone, get my backpack for class, and then head out to this two and a half hour long lecture at eight in the morning. Wish me luck. I'm back at my apartment from a class. I was debating if I wanted to go to a coffee shop today or do homework at my apartment, and I think I decided I wanna do homework at my apartment. I live really close to where my second class is today, and I haven't like sat at my apartment and done work all week. I've really been trying to like go to places in Madison because I'm already feeling like I haven't seen as much of the city as I want to before I graduate. So I've been trying to go new places, try new things. Part of me really does just wanna stay here. I feel like I've been going, going, going all week, and I haven't like sat at my desk and done homework the whole week. So I think I am just gonna stay at my apartment and do work today. I think I was talking to you guys this morning about an assignment that I have that's either due today or next Thursday and I really really want to get it done today just to see if I can like do it and try to push myself to get it done so I'm gonna try to work on that for a little bit. I got out of class and got ready for the gym. For my cycling training, we have to do evaluations of cycling classes and also other classes that the NIC offers. Today I have an evaluation of a rhythm ride class and this is the exact class that I will begin co-teaching in two weeks. So I'm going to head out to the gym here shortly. I'm having the meal from Slow Food for dinner. It's a black bean burger with lettuce, tomato, and caramelized onions, and then some french fries. Alicia <laughs> and Lauren just got here, and we're gonna have a little movie night. Yay. I'm super excited. She brought a whole container of animal crackers. <laughs> the appetite of a small child. <laughs> and we're watching Hocus Pocus 2. It's Friday, just got home from cycling, took a shower, I'm feeling good. Wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday because I can. I basically sat at home all day yesterday. And today I don't have any class, which is really great. I did my heatless curls last night. I have to show you guys how great they look. I'm nervous that they won't look as good because I just had my hair in a bun for like two hours. This new heatless curl thing that I bought on Amazon is a godsend. This is just so quick and easy and I have like naturally wavy hair but it's weird because in the front it's like super super curly like up to my face and then towards the back and on the underneath of my hair it's like wavy and so whenever I wear it natural I just find that it doesn't really like look too great so I wanted to find something heatless that I could start doing and I think this is it. As I said I don't have any class today so I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and try to get some work done here. I have work later tonight at 4 30 and it's only 9 30 right now so I have a good amount of time to get some schoolwork done today.
I'm back at my apartment now. I have like three projects due next week and I was able to get one of them almost done. I finished eating and now it's time for me to go to work. I'm back home from work and I just made dinner as you guys saw. I made some pasta. I have this really fun like fall shaped pasta. And then I also made some garlic bread. I have a friend of a friend who has this like sourdough business where she makes sourdough loaves every week. And the quality of a sourdough is just incredible so i decided to make some garlic bread out of that to have with my pasta tonight and i'm gonna relax enjoy my dinner in front of the tv i just finished watching the last episode of big brother i know i'm like super 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 late to watching it i'm not necessarily happy with who won but i really did like the season there were a bunch of good players this season it felt like everyone actually knew what they were doing but that being said it's kind of late now i'm getting tired the last episode of big brother is two hours long and i watched the episode before that and that one so i've been on the couch for a little bit and i think it's time for me to go to bed tomorrow is game day i'm so excited it's also supposed to be really nice like it was today i think the high 75 and it's a 2 30 game so i have enough time to go to the farmer's market in the morning I got this huge thing of Brussels sprouts. I've never gotten Brussels sprouts on the stock before, but this looked like more Brussels sprouts than some of the other stands that had them in containers. And it was the same price. This was only $4. I got this vegan kimchi. It's from Kingfisher Farm. I tried their sauerkraut a couple weeks ago and it was so, so, so good. I got this huge sweet potato. I've been on a sweet potato kick again. Something about fall just makes me crave sweet potatoes. And then the star of the show, the vegan scones. I got a carrot raisin one. I've never tried this flavor before. And then I got the iconic matcha white chocolate scone. These are so, so good. I love them. And these scones are actually the reason that I started going to the farmer's market so early in the morning alone. These scones sell out so fast. So if you want to get one, you got to get there early in the morning. So I've been going early in the morning because of that. And that's how I discovered that going alone to the farmer's market is one of my favorite things to do. The game is at 2.30 today. I still have no plans. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. I always have a love-hate relationship with game days because they're always super fun, but I also feel like a lot of pressure to make them fun. As we know, I don't have like a solid friend group at school and I have like two or three people that I hang out with consistently and they're all like in separate groups. And so I always feel like I'm inviting myself to things. And like it's gotten to the point where on the weekends and on game days, I literally post my private story and I'm like, someone just let me tag along with them, like please. I have to film a tiktok for princess polly today i'm like taking over their tiktok and doing a giveaway which i'm so excited about i'm really excited about that they've been like a dream brand of mine to work with for a while now and i'm so excited that it's happening it's really crazy to me because i would have never even thought that like two years ago that princess polly would be a company that would want to work with me so i'm really thankful and blessed and finding the good in the day it's almost 10 tailgates are starting today at like 11 i'll probably get ready here shortly even though i have nowhere to go yet i finished getting ready i did my hair and my makeup and then i got on this outfit these shorts are princess polly and the shirt i don't know where it's from i got it for christmas after posting on my private story saying that i had nothing to do two people said that i could join them today
I just took a 30 minute nap. And now I'm at the kitchen making dinner. I'm making the same thing I had for dinner last night. I was gonna go out tonight and meet a friend for dinner, but she has a migraine and I'm really tired. It's only seven o'clock and I feel like I could go to sleep for the night. So we rescheduled to next weekend. Hey trash cans, it's Ashley. It's the next day. I think the last thing that I vlogged last night was making dinner. Shortly after I'd finished eating dinner, I got some really sad news that one of my friends from high school passed away. So I obviously didn't vlog anything else that night. I was just like calling a bunch of our mutual friends, like talking it through with some of them. I still can't really wrap my head around it. I also had plans last night, obviously I canceled them. So that's why there was no more vlogging yesterday. Today's the last day of the vlog, so I'm gonna just keep vlogging. I'm obviously really upset, but we have to keep like moving forward when things like this happen. And though I'm really sad and I already miss her a lot, I can't let my negative, sad emotions take over my whole entire day. And I have to go to work today. So today's supposed to be a really happy day. It's our last day of cycling training. I have six more weeks after this of co-teaching classes and then I'll be officially an instructor. It's 9.40 right now and I'm going on a little coffee date at 10.30. I met one of my friend's friends at a tailgate yesterday and he asked me out. So I'm going on a date. I don't know if I'm really up for it right now. So I'm kind of trying to like decide if I want to go or not. I know myself and it's the spontaneity of it that like is making me not overthink it and is what's pushing me to just go and do it. The game was really fun though and we won and the whole day was great up until obviously hearing this news last night. Now I'm going on a date today. I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna finish doing my makeup off camera. I have like 20 minutes before I have to leave and I still need to like pick out an outfit and everything. I just got home, it went really well, and then as we were leaving, he like asked me if I wanna get lunch with him next week. I'm in the mood to just like put myself out there and I'm glad I went. I know earlier I was like kind of on the fence of if I wanted to go or not, but it felt like refreshing to just not talk about what was going on for a little bit. Basically every single message I'm getting today is all talking about my friend and I do still wanna like work through that and talk to other people about that, but it was refreshing to just step away from that for a while. I mean, I'm still really sad, but I don't think that spending the rest of this vlog talking about how sad I am is gonna be beneficial for me. I just wanted to like let you guys know what's going on um and why i didn't vlog yesterday now i have about an hour before i have to go to cycling training it's really nice outside today so we just got word that we're gonna do our discussion part of training outside in front of the cool center on the grass i'm wearing this workout set from halara they honestly have the cutest stuff and it's so affordable I'm back home from training. I can't believe that my final trainee only training session is done. It feels crazy. We did seven of them, I think, and this was the last one. It feels great to be done with like that portion of the training. I still have training throughout the rest of the semester, but one part of it's done and that feels great and it's worthy of celebration. And I wanna make sushi for dinner. So I'm gonna start cooking some sushi rice right now. I need to do a little bit of cleaning around my room. I really should do laundry today, but I'm feeling super drained emotionally, physically, mentally. Here is my dinner. I have sushi inside. I put tofu and cucumber and then I have some edamame as well. For dessert tonight, I'm having half of a scone that I got at the farmer's market. This is the carrot raisin flavor and it is so good. And I'm gonna end this vlog here because as soon as I eat this, I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. I have work tomorrow at 5.15 in the morning, so I need to get my rest. I wanna thank you all quickly for watching this video. Be sure to like and to subscribe. And all my other social medias are linked in the description of this video as always. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. So sad.